click on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos this is Joel Kumar Sand and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial you are going to learn about relation between CP and CV I hope you know what is CP and what is CV so what is CP basically specific heat at constant pressure what is CV basically specific heat at constant volume so basically what happened uh, we studied these things in thermodynamics as well as uh, in uh, I must say in RAC refrigeration and air conditioning well there are many times we have seen even uh, if you are in 12th class we have seen question from this topic that's why I'm sharing with you the exactly what you required to build a relationship between CP and CV well there are two equations those equations we know very well okay let me share with you those equations cp minus cv is equal to r cp by cv is equal to gamma what is gamma basically it's a specific heat ratio and what is r ideal gas constant now there are two things there are two i mean there are for two yeah for water and for air for air and for water what water values of cp and CV actually water for water we have only CV is equal to 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin CP for water CP for air 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin so don't forget to understand this kilo one and CP, CV for uh, air is 0 0.718 kilojoule per kg Kelvin Alright, so these are two things for air and for water we got CP and CV, right, uh, for CP and CV values, right, so these are values, these values are most important if you are preparing for examination numerical point of view especially. Now let's go for the relation between CP and CV for what you are watching this video, right, so what is basically CP and CV from here what we can write basically CP is equal to gamma CV right now put this cp value here so what we get basically gamma cv minus cv is equal to r now take common cv from here gamma minus 1 is equal to r therefore we can write cv is equal to r by gamma minus 1 okay now uh, now here we got what this now what we can say uh, if we build relation between CP and gamma and R so what we can say we know that CP is equal to gamma CV so gamma R by gamma minus 1 so gamma R by gamma minus 1 so these are two relations uh, those are most important if I am talking about relation between CP, CV, gamma and R then these two relations are just most important I must, must say that alright so this is all about the relation between CP and CV. I hope you understand in very short period of time. So my motto of creating videos not to waste your time but utilize your time in very short period of time you can learn more things about most important topic, most important things. That's why you will have fun, enjoy and uh, of course this is an important topic right so i hope you understand the total thanks for watching thank you very much and if you are like the tot if you like the total share with your friends that's why they will also get help from this total all right so yeah one more thing if you are getting help if you wanted to get my videos on your youtube dashboard then don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye